how it works is engines hard, but they are very proud when you call some really useful engines. Good morning, Thomas. I'm going to the scrapyard today. What? Already? You're not bad old enough to go there. <laughs> Thomas was just kidding. is full of rusty old parts and machinery. They are broken into pieces, loaded into cars, and Edward pulls them to the steel works where they are melted down and used again. Today, there was a surprise for Edward in the yard. It was a traction engine. Hello! You're not broken and rusty. What are you doing here? I'm Trevor. They're going to break me up next week. What a shame! My driver says I only need some paint, polish, and oil to be as good as new. But my master says I'm old-fashioned. Edward snorted. People say I'm old-fashioned, but I don't care. Sir Topham Hatt says I'm still a really useful engine. What work did you do? My master has sent us from farm to farm. We freshed corn, sawed wood, and hauled logs and did lots of other work. Even the children would come and see us. Trevor shut his eyes remembering. Oh yes, I like children. Edward puffed to the station. Broken up, what a shame. Broken up, what a shame. I must help Trevor. I must. He thought of all the children and that there was no room for a traction and shame. It's a shame. It's a shame. He... Then, as he approached the station, pop, pop! Why didn't I think about him before? There, on the platform, was the very person. Edward, you look upset. What's the matter, Charlie? There's a traction engine in the scrapyard, Vicar. He'll be broken up next week. Jim Cole says he never drove a better engine. Do please save him, sir. He saws wood and gives children rides. We'll see. Jim Cole came on Saturday. The Rayburn's coming to see you, Trevor. He's going to buy you. Do you think he will? He will when I've lit your fire and clean you up. The vicar and his grandchildren came to see Trevor in the evening. Trevor had never been so happy in months. Show your faces, Trevor. Later, he came out of the office smiling. I've got him cheap, Jen, cheap. Do you hear that, Trevor? The Reverend saved you, and you live at the vicarage now. Poop, poop, whistled Trevor. Trevor's home is now in the vicarage orchard, and he sees Edward go by every day. He is happy and his brass shows in the sun and they somehow help him when a tractor fails. He still works hard every day, but the great day is the church fair. With a wooden seat, smelled it to his bunker and he gives lots of rides to children. Long afterwards, we see him shut his eyes, remember. I like you.